Alright, um, tell, us, tell us who you are first place. Sure, my name is Megan Marie and I'm a cosplayer. I've been cosplaying for about 10 years. Okay, so what started you wanting to be in the cosplay? Well, just being a nerd, I think. Um, I've always been really big into video games first and foremost, and then eventually comic books, sci-fi when I was a teenager. Uh, and who doesn't want to be a superhero or an awesome yeah. character <laughs> or a villain? Yeah. So uh, eventually I just started kind of replicating costumes and then found out about conventions, and it was all downhill from there. So what's been your favorite costume you made so far? Um, probably my warrior Wonder Woman, which is this one. Uh, Wonder Woman is one of my favorite characters ever, and uh, I always love the idea of her being kind of like an Am the Amazon princess, like the warrior. Uh, and so it was a concept that I worked with a concept artist on, and we actually like drew the concept together, and then I built it over about five or so months. So it was really satisfying to finish. So in cosplay, what's your most important tools, would you say? My most important tools. The ones I cannot live without are probably my rotary cutter and my healing, like self-healing cutting mat. I use those all the time. Craft foam, warbler, so thermoplastics like warbler are things that I use for pretty much everything. Um, and a heat gun, you know, just like the simple things. Actually, the thing that I use more than anything is just paper. I use uh, large sheets of paper to pattern out armor, to pattern out props and so on, and I go through it like crazy, but it helps make sure that you efficiently use the more expensive materials. What's been the hardest prop you've ever made? The hardest prop? Maybe this one. This is the, uh, the combat cross from um, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. And getting this one to properly work and to store the amount of chain inside and make it not too big of a prop was actually pretty, pretty difficult. But, or this one. This was a little bit hard too. Uh, just because I ended up... It actually spins. Well, that's awesome. But I didn't design it very well because the motors are right next to my ears, so when I wear it, I can't hear anything. <laughs> so, you learn. You live and you learn. Uh, any costumes are you working on right now? Yes, I'm actually leaving here in 10 minutes because I need to pan and finish a costume. Um, I'm working on Justin Garcinder from League of Legends. And so, I need to go home, I need to get some more coats of spray, spray paint on, and then finish that hopefully tomorrow. It won't, it won't keep you too much longer. But one final question, are you sure you're safe being outside as a red shirt today? I'm sorry? Are you sure you're safe being outside as a red shirt today? I'm wearing a red dress, yeah. not a red shirt. Oh, you're no. safe then. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've done so well so far. I've, I've never I've never been, been one of those red shirts at a convention, so I think I'm doing okay. Uh, any tips for someone out there just getting into cosplay? Any, I'm sorry? Tips for someone getting into cosplay? Yeah, my biggest tip for new cosplayers is always cosplay characters that you're passionate about because cosplay super expensive, takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, so make sure you're cosplaying something and someone that you absolutely love because that passion is going to carry you through the entire project. Good fun. All right, thanks. Cool.